welcome to clickmyproject.com yeah let us discuss about the stochastic geometry study on device to device communication as a disaster relief solution yeah let us discuss about the abstract of the product so in this basic concept device to device communication that enable direct communication between nearby mobiles is an exciting and innovative feature of next generation cellular networks so it will uh, facilitate the interoperability and then interoperability between the critical public safety networks and uh, commercial networks based on the uh, for example LTE so whatever it may be the basic ones of detailed communication in particular there are two types uh, that is will be discussed about yeah these are the types of d2d communication so in band and out band so in band is separated into underlay overlay and then out band is separated into control and autonomous so these are the types of d2d communication of the system and then the interference management schemes in d2d that is a uh, interference avoidance so to avoid the interference and the interference cancellation in case the interference has appear it should be cancel the interfere and the interference coordination so interference coordination means it should be coordinate with the interference and it should be avoid and cancellation the process so uh, uh, the basic concept is d2d communication is must to cal calculate the value of the process so this is the interference management scheme in the d2d communication yeah and the next process d2d communication that are uh, enable direct communication between the nearby mobiles so that are easily calculating with the particular mobile so nearby mobile device will improve the spectrum utilization overall throughput and energy efficiency while enabling uh, enabling a new peer to peer and localization uh, based on the application and services so in this proposed work to analytically quantify the cell or network performance during massive infrastructure failure so where some uh, terminal can play role uh, is an important role to multi hop communication namely be analytical data mining for the d2d effect in alleviating damage caused by the disaster so in this uh, particular paper a novel technology methodology to avoid scenario network condition and the parameters of the services so uh, this methodology this methodology monitor uh, whatever it may be it should be calculating the 3gb recommendation of the process so finally the simulation is done by using the matlab process yeah let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process so these are the overall flow diagram here we using the network uh, network model so and then deploy the cellular user uh, randomly so and then deploy d2d user that is a d2d communication and the communication link between the d2d user and then the overall allocator channels for a particular user he we using the allocator channel and then allocator channel here we using the spectrum allocation the spectrum allocation is uh, there are two types one is a rsa that is a random spectrum access and another one is a psa so that is a priority spectrum Access. So, finally, performance analysis, calculating the transmission probability and SINR outage probability. So, in the context of energy harvesting in wireless networks on V, to evaluate the performance of the system under investigation is used to stochastical modeling. So, gives the insight of long-term performance behavior and helps to select the statistically optimal network parameters. So, these parameters are not necessarily optimal on the short time scale. On the other hand, tools from optimization theory can be used to model the network and evaluate the short term performance to find the optimal parameters so that should be maximize the certain objective of the functions of the process so he be using the spectrum allocation for the rsa and psa of the network so that is in the uplink performance so the rsa is need for the uplink of the particular value so and then the psa that is also a downlink performance of the process finally calculating the whatever it may be the dd communication is particular cellular user uh, the cellular user using the link of the process so to allocate the channel whatever it may be user for uh, the user bandwidth throughput efficiency or all are uh, calculated by using the value so whatever it may be we calculating the transmission probability and then the SNI outage probability for the particular RSA and PSA algorithm of the process. So D2 to deploy the user, communication link also is important of the process. So these are the overall flow diagram of the particular process. Yeah, now we let us uh, discuss about the running procedure for the process. So click the main file, source file, and then run. So it's time, some time to display the values. And then we calculating for the deploy user, cellular user deployment, transmitter receiver, and then communication link between the D2D communication user like that. Yeah, and this next figure, the cellular user deployment. So these are the base stations. So base stations are deployed in the pink color, and then cellular user are deployed in the plus mark. So all the cellular deployment and base station deployment in this figure. So in the next figure, that is calculating that. So uh, D2D transmitter deployment. So in the transmitter deployment, D2D is a uh, functional in the red color. And then press is a cellular user, and this is a pink in general by a base station of the process. So, cellular user and D2D transmitter is like a base station of the process. So, overall, the uh, particular value of the converted to the D2D transmitter and the value of the process. So, in the next figure, 
D2D receiver deployment. So in the D2D receiver deployment, so here we using the D2D transmitter and then receiver and then also a cellular user of the process. Next we got the communication link of D2D links. So D2D links is between the base station, cellular user, D2D transmitter receiver and then communication link between the transmitter and receiver of the process. So this is the connectivity between the D2D receiver. So overall the it should be circle in the process of the particular communication d links of the process. So the next in this figure that is uh, described about the link level success probability. So in the level link level success probability defined as the downlink and uplink and then also a D2D and then total. So in the downlink process this is a downlink process and then uplink it's a uh, written loaded by the uplink and then D2D is a blue link denoted by the D2D and the pink is denoted by the total of the wire. So this is a distance 0 to uh, 1500 that's a distance as uh, indicated by the meter and then probability of the function so that is signaling 0 to 1. So this is the link level success probability of the value particular value of the process. So in the another figure network uh, the network success level probability against varying values of dam uh, damage ratio that is a d so damage ratio in indicated in d downlink psa that is a uh, power spectral access and then d2d cellular k0 k1 relay and k2 relay so in k1 relay this is indicated in red color and k2 relay is indicated in blue color so cellular of k0 is a uh, Indicating the process in the black color of the process. So more or less on downlink and uplink is the uh, important ratio of the process. So these are the damaging ratio and the network access probability of the particular system of the process. So these are the overall running procedure for the product. Thank you for listening this video.